Paula Casillas is lawyered up. He's already trying to suppress her confession. Will that work? You know, I doubt it, but Paula's done talking. Did you ask her who wrote the letter? You know, I didn't get a chance, so I guess it'll have to remain a mystery. Uh, actually, not quite. Do you remember the last clue, the sound of knocking from far away? Mm -hmm. That would have been Nick Johnson. He said he pounded on that door for quite some time before he finally gave up and went away. Vivian was already dead. Yeah, but Paula could have still been in the office waiting for him to leave. She would have heard the knocking just like she saw the phone, just like she saw Albert Moreno, who was probably dressed in black, so she just put it into the letter to throw us off. Hmm. Only, according to your timeline on the murder board, by the time Nick got to the office at 545, Paula was back at the restaurant, so the office was empty. Except, of course, for Vivian. Oh, before I forget, what did Penny say about Alexander? Oh, nothing. Just some silly stuff that didn't really make any sense. Why? Because my middle name is Alexander. I thought your middle name was Edgar. Been perusing the personal section of the Richard Kessel website again, have we? No, I changed my middle name to Edgar for Edgar Allan Poe back when I changed my last name to Castle. My given name is Richard Alexander Rogers. What a coincidence, huh? It's no surprise I'm here to